Welcome to Dark Celtic <laughs> History. The Cullen Mountains, which dominate the center of haunted sky, is said to be the domain of a ghostly outlaw named Machrain. The infamous fugitive was said to have robbed and murdered a girl at the old well called Tolberashin. When his shocked son discovered the deed and threatened to expose him, McRain killed him too and put his severed head in the well. No wonder this man's spirit restlessly roams the mountains. Now a local man named Rory McDonald was guiding a four American tourist on a short day trip up the Collins back in 2000 when an odd fog began to encompass the small group of hikers. Being an experienced hiker, especially here in his own backyard, Rory decided to just sit tight and wait for the fog to lift. The Collins was a pretty mild hike, but without being able to see even the smallest danger can be deadly. Now they waited so long that it was soon getting dark, and that was equally dangerous, as only two people thought to bring flashlights. Now Rory decided to hike out on his own and find a trail that might lead this group to safety and it doesn't take him long. As Rory turns to go back to get the group he hears screams, blood curdling screams. Rory runs back as fast as he can only to find the two girls holding each other and so frightened and shaking they can't even speak. In the distance he hears the scream of one of the young men and what sounds like fighting. He decides to take the two girls back to the van and then come back with help to find the young men. It is difficult for him, but he finally makes it. He calls for help from a couple experienced hikers and waits, but it seems the horror show has decided to come to him. The girls scream as one of the older <coughs> men carrying the other came running down the hill and slammed into the side of the van, running so fast with not a care in the world. Now Rory, he, gets, he hops out real quick and gets out to help to triage their injuries and find out what's going on when the side of the hill lights up and an apparition of a Highlander appears before you. A loud voice the apparition speaks. Keep your mouth shut, boy, or your head will find a home in the well. Then as quickly as it appeared, it's gone and the fog lifted away. Now Rory drove the four of them back to his shop where they assessed the injuries and claimed calmed down as much as they could. Everyone was scared and began talking freely about the details of what had happened. The tourist wanted to call the local authorities, but Rory tried to explain that McRain's warning would, should be taken seriously, and just because we don't know if the, he means this event or not, we should count ourselves lucky no one was seriously hurt. Rory seemed to have calmed the tourists sufficiently enough that they left for Inverness the next day. Rory thought that since he hadn't heard anything about them, you know, over the next few weeks, that everything was back to normal. But then on a trip to Inverness, he saw a news report about a tourist being found headless in a hotel room, and he decided to, right there, he would never speak of this incident again. <laughs>